Well, Team USA rebounded from an awful loss to France with a 120-66 to blowout win over Iran over there in Tokyo. So we're back on the winning ways, and if we could take care of business against the Czech Republic, you know, we looking good to advance. So shout out to them boys for taking care of business. Damian Lillard had a pretty uh, big game for Team USA. So that's not what we're here to talk about, though. Apparently, another member of that Team USA roster, Draymond Green, is not only focused on winning gold, He's trying to bring some of that fortune back to the States when his team, the Golden State Warriors, looks to rebound from an abysmal two-year run that they've had without the services of Klay Thompson, who's expected to be back in that Warriors lineup at some point next season. I was listening to a little bit of the Hoop Collective podcast with Brian Windhorse and Mark Spears. These are two reporters that have been around the block a few times over. And they both indicated during their conversation that Draymond Green has been doing what he does best, making plays for others. And the plays that I'm talking about he's making is for the Golden State Warriors. Apparently, he's been doing a little bit of recruiting for Golden State. Um, now, here's the thing. If I were told that Draymond Green was going to do some Team USA basketball recruiting, for the Golden State Warriors a couple months ago, I would say, yeah, I, I could see that. Probably Bradley Beal, right, which was a guy that many thought to have believed real. there was a real possibility the Wizards could trade gold, uh, Beal to Golden State with the amount of assets that the Warriors have uh, as we get closer and closer to tomorrow's NBA draft. Bradley Beal dropped out. But Brian Windhorst and Mark Spears are saying that Draymond's still in recruiting mode. So I went up and down this Team USA roster, and I just got to thinking, like, who could Draymond be recruiting? I mean, look at this roster. We got some guys. You got Dane. Could it be Zach Levine? Keldon Johnson? Drew Holiday, fresh off a of championship? Jeremy Grant? You know, KD, I don't think he's coming back to Golden State. You could rule that one out. I don't think Booker's leaving Phoenix anytime soon. Maybe Bam out of Bayou is a name. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Chris Middleton's around as well. JaVale McGee, I don't think he'd be big fish shopping for bring, to bring McGee back to Golden State. Tatum in Boston, I don't think that's a realistic one. So I've gotten it down to two and a possible for who I believe Draymond's been recruiting. I'm going to roll with Zach Levine, and then I'm going to roll with Jeremy Grant and Damian Lillard. Those are the guys that I believe Draymond Green is going hard at. Obviously, Damian Lillard is far-fetched. That would be a dream. But keep in mind, you know, after the Warriors draft these guys at 7 and 14, you know, as time passes by, those picks are a lot less sex. Keep in mind, the Warriors got the number two pick in James Wiseman from a year ago, but you hear more of the chatter being around the potential of the picks coming up in the draft. Because once you got a guy, again, their value diminishes if they see that a team's trying to trade them a year or so in. Uh, so I'm just saying, man, like, I don't know what Draymond's doing. I don't know what his end goal is. But just be clear, everything that Warriors team has done over the last few years has been strategic. From the Kevin Durant move and even after the KD move, the Andrew Wiggins move was very, very strategic. Getting James Wiseman. So I'm just saying, man, y'all let me know in the comment box below. Let's have some fun with it. Of that Team USA roster, again, no Bradley Bill dropped out, no Kevin Love dropped out. Who do you guys think Draymond Green is going after? And let's just remove Dame from it. The easy answer is Damian Lillard. If not Dame, then who? My guess is probably, probably Zach Levine. He's probably trying his best to lure Zach away from Chicago, in which over the years we've heard rumblings that Levine ain't been the happiest in that team ain't been winning. All right, let me know who you got, though. Comment box below. I'm out.